When an ex reaches out to us, it feels absolutely amazing, especially when we've put in all that hard work and we actually want them back. But how do we take it to the next steps to bring them in closer? I'm going to tell you. Greetings and welcome to another upload here. Thank you for joining me for that upload. Um, big shout out to everyone out there. Thank you very much for your comments and your emails. And thank you for pushing this channel to the right direction with all your support. It's greatly appreciated. Please stay tuned towards the end of the video because I will be giving away another shout out. If you would like a mention on my up and coming videos, then please don't hesitate to put it in the comments below or email me. Also, if you've got any suggested videos that you feel I haven't covered, then please put that in the comments below as well. Uh, moving on. So the topic for today is do this when your ex reaches out. But first, let's touch on some stuff that's very important because we have to know why our ex is reaching out in the first place. This helps us protect us and at the same time draws them in closer. So we have to know some certain things. Are they just testing the waters and coming in because they're bored? Love Island's finished. They've downed half a bottle of wine, gained a bit of confidence and just want to reach out to see how life is our end. That's no good to us. It's not weighted enough. It's boring, don't waste our time. Or are they just seeing if we're still available? So we have to put things into play here with our actions and responses to see what their true intentions are. And of course, again, protecting ourselves because we don't want to be rejected again, right? Absolutely right. So how do we do this? First of all, we have to tell ourselves, excellent, they've reached out to us, but we still have to take control of our emotions and not come in too keen and rush in like a bull in a china shop because they will back off within a heartbeat. What we need to do, again, is take control of our emotions and know that we have the power back. If your ex reaches out to you, you want to come across friendly and pleasant. But leave some time between messages. Don't leave it days apart. There's no point. It's boring. It's too strong out. I'm talking 15, 30 minutes or better still when you can respond. After all, you could be at work or you could be driving a sex shop. This is good because it comes across natural uh, and we want them to feel that it's absolutely natural. On the flip side, we don't want you to respond in seconds. It comes across too keen. The main thing I want you to concentrate here is so you don't get confused, let them lead because they reached out to us it's up to them to do the work to tell us their intentions but how can we draw them in closer we play dumb if they want to rebuild a connection they will proceed in asking the right questions remember they have a game plan themselves to work with right okay they're not stupid they've come in with a plan uh, we have to be aware of that they're putting the feeders out they're testing the waters these are the things that they will want to know when they reach out to us. Number one, are you with anyone? Remember, they're coming in blind here. They don't want to be faced with your possible new partner who is about to confront them. They will be wary of this within the first few messages. Number two, do you still find them attractive? This is all being registered by them within your responses uh, back towards them. Three, Will they be rejected this time if they ask you to meet up? Again, all being registered in your responses towards them. This is why we only come across friendly because we're not letting anything go until we know their true intentions. This is drawing them in towards us and pushing them to open up more because in their head, we're not getting the message, right? We are, we're just playing dumb, but I don't know that. Remember, it's up to them to ask us for a meet-up, not us to ask them for a meet-up, because if we ask them for a meet-up, it's basically saying, yep, I'm still available, you can still have me, I'm yours. And you will find them satisfied with that, uh, and the messages and the interest towards you will become less and less. So it is important to stay on track. If your ex reaches out, then disappears after a few messages, trust me, they weren't interested at all. All you was to them was just someone to message until something else interests them or they thought that you would just give them the ego boost they need because they didn't get a certain amount of likes 
that day uh, and they feel devalued because the last time you guys spoke, you was putting them on a pedal stool and they still remember that, you see, and they still want to come in, they want to get that validation and then they will go. But on the flip side, I don't want you to message them asking what their game was, why did they come in and then disappear again and kicking off. We don't want to be doing that. What we want to do is act like we weren't bothered. Okay, that's more weighted on their side. They will remember that. So that's another reason they might reach out that we have to be aware of. If your ex reaches out and we build up some communication and it leads pretty quick to sexing, then they're looking for a bit of fun, hoping to get some naughty pictures of you and feeding their mood at the time. This would be absolutely up to you where you would take that. But don't get it mixed up if you think that they're there for the long term. You're just satisfying their need at that present time. Once they get what they want, you will find the texts less and less to possibly ghost you. What we do want is a slow build up of communication, a good back and forth of messages throughout the days and weeks and for them to ask to meet up where you can take it to the next stage, rebuilding. Remember, if they are generally feeling like they've missed you and regretted walking away from you and had the time to realise you're the one for them, they will proceed to pursue you. Never be in the mindset of, I need to rush this because they might get bored and do a runner and disappear. No. If they disappear again, then they have no intention on wanting another chance with you. And so you've kept the power and you haven't looked needy, you've stood tall. I know it sounds a lot to take in, but just concentrate on them leading the conversation. And remember, there is no rush. Smile because they've reached out to you. If your ex really wants you back, they will pursue in asking all the right questions. That's why it's a good technique to play dumb. It speeds up the actual chat, it draws out their emotions and they will throw it up on a plate because this person's not getting it. We are getting it, we just want you to say it. So, now for the shout outs, I would like to say a massive shout out to Chevy, I hope I've said that right. Thank you for supporting this channel and I'm glad my videos are helping you. Sending my love your way. Remember guys, once again, if you would like a mention on my up and coming videos, comment below. If you would like a one-to-one -one with me, all the links are in the description. I want to say massive thank you. You're all beautiful people. I will see you later.